And we are following breaking news tonight. The investigation going on right now into a crash and shooting. Good evening. I'm Todd McDermott and I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. This is happening in Wellington. Let's get right out to Ari Height. He is live for us with breaking details. Ari. And investigators here appear to be just about wrapped up with their work. You can see behind me uh, just a couple of people here left with crime scene as we continue to pan the camera a little bit. You will see that vehicle currently on the tow truck. That's the vehicle they've been paying the most attention to. When they got here, that vehicle was slammed up against one of those poles on the other side of the street. So let me go ahead now and show you some video from what this looked like a little bit earlier this evening. That's when more than a dozen deputies were here. This is Forest Hill Boulevard in Wellington, just west of 441. Deputies say they came here because, again, they got that call of an SUV that crashed into a pole. When they got to the vehicle, though, they found two people injured inside, and they say one of them appears to have been shot. Both victims were taken to the hospital. Their conditions right now are not known, and their identities have not been released. Deputies here have also not given any indication as to what they think might have happened here that led to this crash that led to one of the people being shot. One more note here as far as traffic goes. Eastbound Forest Hill Boulevard remains closed, though it appears as though it's going to be reopening fairly soon. That's the very latest reporting live in Wellington. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.